going on, Jets? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Let me start off by giving a major, major shout out to Google Sucks. Brother, those CDC links that you sent me put a massive smile on my face. And you are definitely, in my humble opinion, correct as to why you've seen the major uptick in the attacks against the Red Pill and MGTOW, particularly how Hammerhand is trying to be connected to domestic terrorism. Oh, gentlemen, the system knows it is over. Too many men have woken up. And the numbers in the marital institution and the birth rate have shown it. Now, let's start off with the one narrative that they're trying to push, the divorce rate. Now, I'm going to try to put the links in to the CDC. Hopefully that won't get me um, flagged or get me a strike, but you guys should be able to find it very easily. Now, in 2019, the divorce rate was 2.7 per 1,000. In 2020, it fell down to 2.3 per 1,000, a significant drop, right? See, they're trying to use that to say, well, divorces are going down, people are staying married, and they're trying to get more men to fall into that trap. Well, divorce is down, so maybe it's safe for men to marry. Ah, no, 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 gentlemen. Uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. While they're trying to push the divorce rate going down narrative, they completely try to keep you away from the real rate that is going down, which is the marital rate. <laughs> oh, let me go ahead and give you those numbers. Now, I talked about the years 2019 in 2020 in regards for the divorce rate. Now, let's get into the marital rate for those same years. In 2020, the marriage rate in the United States stood at a whopping 5.1 per 1,000 people of the population, right? Right? <laughs> in 2019, the marriage rate in the United States stood at 6.1. This is a decrease from the 1990s level when the marriage rate was 9.8 marriages per 1,000 people. Gentlemen, the red pill in conjunction with the divorce and family court system has been successful in keeping men away from marriage. Oh yeah, oh ho, ho, yeah, but I'm not done. Oh no, 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 no. I got one more for you. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 2020 marked a record low fertility rate of 1.64, another all-time U.S. record low, down from 2019, also a record low at its time of 1.71 children per woman and the sixth straight year with an outright decline in the number of 
births. A fertility rate of 2.1 is needed to maintain a stable population. Boom, it is over. <laughs> but, but, as I stated before, what is the system doing? They're trying their best to blame the actual victims out of all of this. Men and boys, in particular, men who've woken up and decided that we're no longer going to be a disposable utility for women and the system. We're no longer gonna work that plantation. We're no longer gonna go above and beyond in hopes that some woman will find us worthy enough to attach herself to us. And then once she has hollowed us out like a dry husk, she can move on to a new host. Um, yeah, no, no. And add to the fact, our best friend in this whole situation, which is social media. Ha <laughs> ha, thank you, TikTok. TikTok is a wonderful, wonderful war chest full of women who expose the female playbook and other women who co-sign their behavior. Gentlemen, it's a done deal. It is over. Enough men have said, yeah, I'm running off the plantation. This is it. So naturally, they're going to extreme lengths to try to shame men back onto the plantation by saying, oh, you guys don't want to be linked with those uh, red pill and MGTOW guys. Yeah, they're, those guys are domestic terrorists. They're extremists. We, we, yeah, really? Really? So a man that decides he's no longer going to play this game is the equivalent of a terrorist. Okay, gotcha. Perfect. But all in all, men have said, yeah, I'm out. This current system, not worth it. The women of today, yeah, not worth it. Not worth it. Nope. I choose peace, quiet, and freedom over the chaos of getting into a relationship. And make no mistake about it, gentlemen, if you decide to give your most valuable thing, which is commitment to a woman, you will be in servitude to her. I've said this before, and I will say it again. Modern relationships are simply no longer worth the trouble. They're no longer worth the headache, the stress. Accepting of bad female behavior that you know normally you would not accept. But, but, gentlemen, you have to be kept in a scarcity mindset, especially if you're between 18 and 34, which we know that is the group of men who have reportedly have had zero sexual contact with women. We know this, but those men have to be kept in a thirsty state. Why? Because at that point, instead of getting the type of woman that they want, they will settle and take what they can get, which I find outright disgusting when I hear women talking about settling, you will have an obese woman with kids having the audacity to say that she's settling for a childless man. What? No, 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 no. The arrogance, 
men have been settling for undesirable women since the beginning. Yeah. However, more and more men have said, nope, I'm not going to settle. If I can't get the type of woman that I truly desire, then I'll take nothing at all. And ladies, you still don't get this one blatant fact. There are more of you than there are of us across the board, period, point blank. So gentlemen, I would humbly say this. Do your work, i.e. investigate, get the STD panels, all of that. Get all the information on that woman if you choose to be with her. And also make it crystal clear what you want, what your purpose is going to be for this woman. If she's just meant to be a Tuesday night, let her know and let her decide whether or not she wants to play that position. Other than that, don't waste your valuable time. The system knows this, and that's why they're ramping up their attacks to try to shame men back into a bad deal. Gentlemen, keep going in your own direction. Period, point blank. Now, if you do find a woman who meets your standards, who decides that she wants to actually join your program, hey, you wanna roll the dice? Go for it. However, do not roll the dice and be blind. Make sure you have all the information about said woman. Transparency is going to be the key. But, all in all, the marital rate and the birth rate in the toilet, it's done. It is over. And hey, society brought it on itself. And trust and believe, this isn't just a Western thing. This is planet wide. Mm -hmm. So yes, gentlemen, enjoy the decline. Well, I'm going to try to link the CDC links in the description box this time because I really want you guys to see what I saw and you can put two and two together yourself. And with that being said, I've rambled on long enough. Let me know what you guys think. And women around the world, the power in marriage has definitely gone out. Feminism and all the attempts to try to shame men back into a bad deal have gone out right along with it because more and more men have seen marriage and in particular the destruction of family due to divorce and said, nope, I'm not going to participate. So yeah, men are not coming to save you especially with everything that's going on right now, more and more men have decided that you women are no longer worth the burden that comes with you. And guess what? In the end, we know who's going to suffer. You guys. <laughs> that's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar!